So here I am down at Bracknell's um, South Hill Park once again and I've come along to chat to somebody who is hugely responsible for a production that's about to take place here next week called Just Judy. Just Judy is about the Hollywood star Judy Garland and I've got the privilege of sitting down and having a chat with Brad Clapson who is the writer and producer of this amazing production. Hi Brad! Hi there, <laughs> how are you? I'm very good thank you, thanks for your time today. No, um, thank you for coming to see me. That's not a problem at all. Um, just Judy, uh, cool, quite a unique uh, <laughs> show to take on, isn't it? Yes, just a bit. Uh, let's start from the beginning. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, where did it all begin? So uh, I've wanted to, so I've never written anything before. That is, that's, that's, that's been the big challenge. Um, and I'm a huge love of Judy Garland. And it's her, it's coming up to, well, we've just passed actually the 50th year of her passing. So I thought, what a great way to comm commemorate that. Um, then do a show about her life. Absolutely. I mean, she's such an iconic Hollywood uh, star, isn't she, of TV and stage. Um, I think sort of everybody knows of Judy Garland somehow, don't yes. they? Um, and um, yeah, so this is your first time writing and producing. So <laughs> when, when, did you, when did you take on this uh, massive challenge? So I'd love to say, uh, yeah, two years ago, we've had R&D, we've had it. No, not at all. Uh, so I started writing this in April. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we've had, a lot, I've got an amazing cast, so we've had lots of different rewrites and uh, the production team on it are incredible. So it has been a really, it's been a big old collaboration with everyone in it. Um, but no, so I started writing it and yeah, it's sort of, it's gone from there. It's gone, in my opinion, gone from strength to strength, hopefully. You, <laughs> I mean, you're obviously passionate um, and have a love for Judy Garland to obviously feel the need to take on this challenge um, and researching her and finding out all all the things about her to ready for the production has there been lots of things that you've discovered along the way that you didn't know about her unbelievably so <laughs> so i i thought that i was trumps above the rest when it came to facts about judy uh turns out no i knew nothing um i've come yeah re like reading the book and also just researching loads of different interviews that she's had there are some incredible incredible stories mm. that um, that people don't know and it's like lots of things about the wizard of oz which everyone sort of goes oh yeah no it's the wizard of oz it's cute but actually behind the scenes and what was happening it's incredible yeah, I agree with you. I mean, I read her autobiography um, quite a few years ago, and obviously in the book they do touch on the Wizard of Oz, don't they? And, and mm. what was going on? And I was I was really surprised myself actually because uh, when you look at it from face value as a movie, you have no idea, do you? What yeah. went on to to put that movie together? I mean, it took quite a long time, didn't it? It took quite a long time, but there was also uh, three different directors because they weren't happy. Mm. Uh, the first um, film that they did of it. Judy Garland had like peroxide blonde curly hair, had loads of makeup and the dress was pink. And then she was like, I look like a Hollywood um, Boulevard hooker. <laughs> and then so someone came in and Victor Fleming uh, came in and sort of went, no, she needs some innocence. Mm. But then it's things like uh, there's a great, which I won't say because it's my favourite story, but there's a great story about the Tin Man mm -hmm. in that. And then also just loads of different and lovely stories. But there's loads of that... Um, with lots of different other films mm -hmm. like Meet Me in St. Louis which is personally my favourite of mm -hmm. Judy Garland which has obviously Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas well the song that we know wasn't the original song the lyrics were completely different and she sort of went no I'm um, the lyrics have got to change if you want me to sing them because mm -hmm. it was a very depressing song before we know the mm -hmm. before the one that we know now yeah, she, she was very strong-minded. She knew what she wanted to do, didn't she? I mean, but if we, if we just sort of backtrack a little bit to her at the beginning, she had um, quite a challenging upbringing, didn't she? Touring and being dragged here, there and everywhere, didn't she, with her mother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was part of uh, the Gum Sisters because mm -hmm. Judy Garland's original name was Frances Gum. Mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah, and it was a case of, you know, if you want to eat, you need to sing. Uh, and she she would always say um, that they were a terrible group, but they got booked. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, but the, her mum was the epitome and like the first one ever um, spoken about, about being a stage mum. Mm -hmm. uh, and her dad, who she loved, who was the pianist. Uh, no, sorry. Frank Gunn was the performer. Her mum was the pianist. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was her dad, actually, that was the lovely one who sort of went, you know, we could, we could really do this. Mm -hmm. And then Ethel Gunn, her mum. 
mm. was not a nice lady at all. Mm-hmm. We, we've heard it time and time again, though, haven't we, where these uh, child stars, their rise to fame, usually have had uh, a very supportive parent behind them, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, very supportive, very well paid, putting it. <laughs> so, yeah, so she had uh, an interesting childhood and then obviously um, credits to her name, movies that she, you know, she, she was just an incredible actress, wasn't she? Yes. Um, and I believe she um, got a, a sort of an award for the role in A Star Is Born? Well, she... Best got, actress, I think it was. She got nominated. Oh, right. Uh, but Grace Kelly actually won won it. And we actually that's a big feature in Act Two of our play mm-hmm. um, because a wonderful quote came from that, which was, uh, Hollywood is a weird place. If anyone thinks you're in trouble, they flee from you and they don't want to be anywhere near you. And that comes from when she got nominated and everyone thought she was going to win that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then when they said Grace Kelly's name, apparently everyone just left her alone and that was it. Very brutal, isn't it, yeah. showbiz? <laughs> so, um, okay, so we've, we've sort of talked a little bit about her, her life, her early years, um, but moving on to your production and how you've put it together. Casting, how have you gone about casting? So I am probably the luckiest person in the world uh, because I have just an incredible cast. So we have lots of different Judy Garlands. Our main 1969 Judy Garland is played by Heather Wilson, mm-hmm. uh, who I have worked with time and time again we're actually very very close friends and uh, so there was going to be no one else for the part mm-hmm. uh, because uh, growing up she she has been and still is a Judy Garland impersonator so I was very lucky when I sort of went Heather I want to do this show she was like I'm in of course I'm in and then I've got an incredibly talented TV host because it's set in a TV studio mm-hmm. uh, and uh, called, and the character's called Mike Gable and I've got the insanely talented Ashley Wells, who, honestly, at the, like the first day we had our read through, I just sort of like threw away the script and just listened to her. I was like, I could listen to your voice all day because he makes like the most boring thing sound so interesting. <laughs> so yeah, so very lucky. And then, um, yeah, we have live performances of Judy Garland throughout the years. Uh, so I've got Emily Rose, who is, uh, I believe she's 17, she's sort of playing the teenage uh, years of Judy Garland. Um, she is she is fantastic. Uh, rise, rising star. And then I have Sophie Spencer, who, uh, if you've ever seen a, sh- a show with Sophie in it, it's, it's a winner. Uh, sort of playing the 20s and 30s. Um, of Judy Garland and then uh, I've got Laura Thane uh, who is incredible and she and she's the later on in life Judy Garland so how exciting because that's usually um, the biggest challenge isn't it finding the right artists um, but if you felt that that happened uh, you know pr- relatively quickly and naturally fantastic, and naturally wonderful absolutely wonderful so half the half the pressure on you has gone if you know you've got a strong talented yeah. cast how exciting it's, yeah <laughs> like I say incredibly lucky because I sat down with Rosie Hill who's um, my business partner and also producing this with me and we sort of sat down with the first draft of the script and she was like oh okay so obviously we know that these people are going to be in it and I was like yes (laughs) yes <laughs> so yeah so very very lucky oh that's great and so um you've got your cast and we're due for curtain up next week and yep. um i've got to ask you what's your favorite uh, judy garland movie so my name is meet me in st louis okay. and my favorite number in that is the trolley song yes it's i love course. the trolley song i love the trolley song <laughs> <laughs> of course you've got to have it are we going to sing it later absolutely <laughs> yeah i'm singing it all the time at the moment <laughs> Oh, so Meet Me in St. Louis is your is your favourite movie. Okay, and um, another interesting scenario for you to consider. If Judy Garland was still alive today and you had the chance to sit down and talk to her or ask her anything, yeah. have you had a thought about what you would like to ask her? That is a very hard question. <laughs> uh, I think, well, the thing is, we're, I think we're very lucky because she always spoke her mind. Mm-hmm. Like, there was no... there's. There is no secrets when it comes to Judy Garland. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think my my main questions would sort of be around uh, Mr. Mayor, like the head of MGM. Mm-hmm. And actually, how brutal was he? Because mm-hmm. we don't hear a lot about that in her life. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it would probably be that. And then my question, which actually she does answer, is if you weren't a performer, what would you do? Mm-hmm. And, um, oh, it's sort of heartbreaking because she was like, I'd be a mother. Mm-hmm. I'd be a good wife. Mm-hmm. I'd be this, but I'd love to know what actual uh, like 
what what else would she do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that that's a very good question because obviously she started at such a young age. It's probably quite difficult. She's never two. really had uh, sort of the, the experience of yeah. that, has she? Yeah, she started at two years old. I'd love her to be like, uh, I'd work at, I'd be a checkout girl. I'd be like, <laughs> yes, go on, Judy, <laughs> go, Judy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant. Um, well, I think it's incredibly exciting for you, and I, I commend you because to, to do this and write and produce something that you've never done before and take on this huge challenge um, I think it's exciting and I, I really do truly believe that it will be um, a, a huge success next week um, also I just wanted to ask you uh, if you had or do you have any aspirations or can you foresee it going anywhere else this production um, so at first uh, I didn't I just wanted to do the one show sort of prove myself that I can write direct mm. and produce but it's very good mm. it's very good so um, Ed- Edinburgh Fringe so there are talks. There are talks of Edinburgh Fringe and Brighton Fringe, mm-hmm. um, as well as uh, we've had a few uh, theatres around the country sort of be like, oh, we hear that you're doing the show. Can we come and watch? Because, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, we've got some theatre bookers that are interested in having a look at it. Mm-hmm. So we, we shall see. Oh, well, that's absolutely fantastic, Brad. I, I think it's brilliant. I can't wait to see it. I'm hoping to come down and see it on one of the nights. Oh, that, please uh, do. I, I think it's a great, great um, theme, a great production. Well, thank you so much, Brad. It's been lovely to chat to no, you and find you. out about this um, brand new venture for you and good luck with just Judy. Thank you so much. Get yourself down to South Hill Park next week. It runs from the 2nd 3rd of July and all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you for seeing me. You're welcome.